Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to Valley Forge. Yeah, that's two days in a row now at the Valley Forge National Historical Park. And you might be hearing the um, PA Turnpike right behind me, which does mean we are right in the same exact area I was in yesterday. Now, as you guys may or may not know, if you watched yesterday's video, the reason why I was out here is because I was looking for a witness tree, a, a sycamore tree that was here during the encampment of George Washington and his men in 1777 into 1778. Unfortunately, I still cannot find that tree. I have no idea where the tree is. After I was done filming yesterday, I literally spent two hours walking around the area, trying to find trails, going to the other side of the creek over there, trying to find trails and, and hopefully maybe possibly see the tree, even if from across a little waterway, just I wanted to see the tree. I could not find it. I have no idea where it is. I Google mapped it. I looked, I tried to look on a, an aerial view, could not find the tree. So I have no idea. It's down that way somewhere. Again, if you have any idea where the tree is or how to get to the tree, leave a comment down below. It's the Lafayette Witness Tree or the Lafayette Sycamore. It's down there somewhere, supposedly. But anyway, so I couldn't find that yesterday, unfortunately, but I did find some pretty awesome stuff yesterday. And since these videos are unedited, I don't stop them to look up information. I was kind of assuming something, but I, again, I couldn't stop the video. I couldn't look, look up the information. I was not able to, to gather information for you guys, but I wanted to come back out here because what I found yesterday was actually pretty amazing. And that's this house right here. So since the witness tree down there is called the Lafayette witness tree or the Lafayette Sycamore, I kind of thought, I wonder if this was the headquarters for Major General Lafayette during the Revolutionary War or during the encampment of 1777, 1778, when George Washington and his men were encamped in Valley Forge. And sure enough, that is exactly what this is. Well, the portion at the very end anyway, is where Major General Lafayette, the, the French, the French general during the Revolutionary War, this is where he stayed. This was his headquarters right here. This is pretty awesome. Built in 17, is it 68, if I remember, or maybe no, maybe it was something else. 17, 1765 is when this was, or seven, no, 1763, I can read. 1763 is when the structure was built. Major General Lafayette, he stayed here because right, right over there, right across the little creek over there is where the, the, the encampment really was and where all the, all the um, log cabins and tents and everything and not too far away, maybe like a, a, a I don't know, a, a five minute carriage ride or five minutes horse ride, not, probably not even, is where the George Washington's headquarters were. So pretty awesome, pretty amazing. So again, built in 1763. Then the middle section here, this is built in the 1830s, so obviously they're built in sections. You can clearly tell these are built at different times. So seven, or the, the 1830s is when this section was built. And then the late 1800s is when this last section was built on. So pretty awesome. 1700s, 1830s, late 1800s. Pretty amazing. So again, this was actually the headquarters for Major General Lafayette when the encampment, George Washington's encampment was going on here during the Revolutionary War. We were camped out here, keeping an eye on the British soldiers, Brit British so 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 soldiers, British soldiers who had taken over Philadelphia. They were there, they had, they had taken Philadelphia so George Washington and his men camped here. They were far enough away that they could keep an eye on what was going on in Philadelphia, but also far enough away that they were not in necessarily any immediate danger of being attacked. They were right by the, the Schuylkill River where supplies, they could get supplies easily. So pretty much all the houses in this area were essentially used to house and for headquarters of any sort of major figure at the time who was, who was camped here at Valley Forge. Major General Lafayette stayed right here. Pretty awesome, the famous French general. That is so cool. So again, I kind of assumed that yesterday. I kind of thought, yeah, that's probably, that's probably the case. It's probably where 
where his headquarters were since that is the Lafayette tree down there. I'm, you know, again, putting two and two together. But like I said, I do these videos unedited, so I wasn't able to stop the video and double check that, but I did look it up online after doing some research. There actually wasn't a ton of research about this house. Like I, I found some information on it, but it was like a little, little paragraph of information about the house. That was about it, but pretty awesome, pretty cool. This old stone farmhouse here. That is awesome. There's also something I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna walk down quickly across the little river over here. I think it's Valley, it's a Valley Creek, if I'm not mistaken, is what this, what the uh, little creek down here is called. I could be wrong about that, but anyway. So I wanna show you guys a little bit of hidden, sort of forgotten about park history, if you will. Not history of Valley Forge in general, but history of the park in general. Because when I was looking for the actual witness tree, when I was, Again, spending about two hours walking around this area, going from place to place, trying to find trails, going to the other side of the creek over there, trying to find some trails. I was able to find trails. There is actually a trail over there. And then I was able to find a trail that goes right along the river, which had me, or the creek or whatever, which had me very excited because I thought, okay, I'm walking along, walking along the water. I'm on the wrong side of the, the, the river, but I, I could at least possibly maybe see the witness tree from across the from across the water, which would have been fine by me. Had I just been able to, to see it with my own eyes, I would have been pretty happy. But unfortunately, wherever that darn sycamore is, it's not right on the water. So hopefully someday I'll be able to figure out where that is and take you guys out there and show it to you guys. I definitely 100% want to do that. And in the future, someday, mark my words, one of these days, we're gonna find that tree. I'm gonna figure out how to get to it and we're going to find it because um, it's pretty awesome looking. And it's the Lafayette Sycamore or the Lafayette Witness Tree here in Valley Forge. One of three witness trees here. The other one I will be taking you guys take, I will be taking to, I will be taking you guys to. That's what I'm trying to say. The other one I will be taking you guys to in the future. Probably not in the immediate future, but in, I don't know, a month or two or something like that. We'll go out to the other witness tree. I'll show that to you guys. It's right down the road. I'm pretty sure I know where that one is. We're here walking over the bridge again. It's really interesting back here. Again, I had no idea any of this existed. I had no idea, like right, again, right there. Lafayette headquarters, right there. I had no idea this was even back here. Again, this was a whole section of the park that I had no idea even existed. I had never driven down this road because you can't drive down this road. This road is blocked off to cars. They have it roped off. They do not let you drive down here. I don't know why. I'm not entirely sure why they don't let you come down here. Kind of a shame, I really wish they would take that house, maybe renovate it back to how it looked during the Revolutionary War, maybe take the, the I don't know, the expansions off or something, or renovations off. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they would do that. I don't know if they should do that. What do you guys think? Should they renovate the house back to how it looked? If they were to renovate the house, should they renovate it back to how it looked during the encampment or keep it as it is with the expansions put on? I don't know. Tough to say. Again, this bridge is awesome here built in the 1800s, 1886, built in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, which is right, a couple miles right down the road. Pretty awesome, using Phoenixville steel. That's what they were known for back in the day. They were, they were steel town, not so much anymore, but at one point they were, they were called, I think they, they were called steel, it was called Steel City. That's what it was referred to. But anyway, so I wanna show you guys something else I saw very quickly, then we'll end this video. Right down this path, right down here, I walked very far down this path trying to find the witness tree. Again, was not able to find it, unfortunately, but I did find something pretty awesome down here that I was not expecting to find. A little bit of, like I said, history, a little bit of Valley Forge Park history that was hidden down here. Definitely a forgotten piece of history, if you will. So this is the major trail. This is the one that all the people bike on walk on but there's also little trails that shoot off down they go down by the river and there's one of those trails i really want to show you guys if i can remember where it is i want to say is this it right here i think I, yes this is it right here so this old trail it's the first trail you see when you come down here if you're looking for this when you come down this trail it's the first offshoot you see here so at one point this must have been a major part of the trail for the actual park. And the reason is because look at what is right in front of me. A little piece 
of Forgotten Valley Forge National Historical Park history. You can see this has been long forgotten back here. I'm sure some people come back here and see this, but for the most part, this is not really a, a part of the, the park that the park sort of has everybody come out to. I mean, again, you can't drive your car down here. There's no signs telling you what's down the road. Not, there's no signs saying, you know, Major General Lafayette's house or headquarters is located down here. Go check it out. They kind of keep everybody sort of away from this area. But I wanted to show you guys this. Lafayette's headquarters, Samuel Harvard Farm. This is really hard to read. Lafayette's headquarters was established in the farmhouse of Samuel Harvard on Valley Creek. That is, it's called Valley, Valley Creek. The original house built by Harvard uh, shortly after he received 200 acres of land from his father in 1763 was a square stone structure with two, let's just say, oh, two rooms. It's getting hard to read. Two rooms. Um, on each floor, it now forms the east wing of the large addition built by William uh, Ritter in 1839. So pretty awesome. Look at that. This is the Marquise de Lafayette, 1757 to 1834. A 20-year-old French officer led a Virginia division up the road from Gulf Mills to Valley Forge on December 19th, 1777, after having been wounded in the left, the left leg on September 11th, 1777 at the Battle of Brandywine. Okay, that's really, it's difficult. Again, everything looks better. Everything looks better in the viewfinder. Like I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, oh, you can read that. Look, you can read that perfectly fine. Kind of. L looking at this though, getting all choked up from all the in the pollen looking at this with my own eyes like it's very very difficult to read it's also like blacked out and whatnot this has not been cleaned nature's kind of retaking this uh this sign but i was kind of blown away when i saw this the fact that valley forge actually has this little marker out here kind of hidden in the woods and on the wrong side of the uh the creek too which is which is kind of interesting and you can only sort of kind of see the house from over here so you come down little pathway here and the house sits up there on the hill i mean it, you, you can barely make it through the trees there it sits way up there you can kind of sort of tell there's a house up there so really weird that the that the marker is down here and not up there again i really wish that the park would would open the house up or at least maybe have some signs welcoming people to come down here and check this out. It's a very important piece of history. I mean, Major General Lafayette's headquarters right here, right here in Valley Forge. And I, for one, even though I've been to Valley Forge hundreds, if not thousands of times, I have, I never knew that this was here because they just don't really advertise it, which is definitely a shame, but pretty awesome, pretty cool. Just wanted to show this to you guys, let you guys know that's what the house was. Like I said, I was kind of putting two and two together in my head. As I'm thinking, as I'm over there yesterday, I'm thinking, wait, okay, Lafayette Tree, house that was built right before the Revolutionary War, a house that was obviously here during the encampment of Valley Forge. Probably that's where Major General Lafayette uh, stayed and was using as his headquarters. And sure enough, that was absolutely the case. And again, I wanted to bring you guys, well, there's a lot of, I don't know why, there's a million bees over there. Look at that, there's, there are a ton of bees flying around. And I'm not entirely sure why, but it could be because there's a hive and just in case, I'm gonna head this way because I don't wanna get stung. So anyway, so I kinda, was kind of putting two and two together. I kind of figured that was probably the case, but I did not know. So when I got home, I of course immediately Googled it and sure enough, yes, Lafayette's headquarters right up there on the hill. And then when I found the, the, uh, the little marker over here yesterday, I was like, that's so awesome. Again, a little kind of hidden, forgotten piece of Valley Forge National Historical Park history sort of a forgotten little sign that sits back here in the woods that probably not a lot of people see. Yesterday when I was down here, there were only a handful of hikers and bikers. I think I saw one guy fishing. That was it. There was not a, there was not very many, many, not very many people walking down this trail yesterday. It's very quiet back here. Every now and then somebody will walk by or bike by. But for the most part, it's very, very quiet back here. Not a lot of people come to this part of the park, which again, is a shame. So I guarantee you maybe only a handful of people even look at this sign throughout the year, but pretty awesome guys. Wanted to show this to you guys. That is neat, but all right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Just wanted to come back out here, talk about this. I couldn't, I couldn't mention the, the farmhouse in yesterday's video and then not do a follow-up video, actually tell you guys 
what the house is, especially once I found out information about the house, I was like, I have to come back out here. I have to do a follow-up video on the actual house because it's too cool. It's too awesome of a piece of Revolutionary War history. And then when I found this sign, I knew, I knew I was coming back out to talk to you guys about this. All right, guys. Again, I'm still on the hunt for the, for the actual witness tree. I walked down. There's a path that goes down that way. Not this path. This is not a path. There's a path that kind of goes that way. This, this path goes down further. And there's a whole trail. It's a trail kind of like this. They're not, not as, as worn trail that goes all along the actual creek. All along, was it this Valley Creek, right? Yes, all along Valley Creek. But unfortunately, at no point could I see the sycamore. So I don't know. It's got to be back there somewhere. I just don't know where. And I'm not about to spend another two hours today looking for it. So all right, guys, that's going to do it. We will find it one of these days. I'll bring you guys back out here to find the witness tree. Mark my words. It's going to happen. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon for the rest of your life, will you be able to watch a video of me finding that darn Lafayette Sycamore slash Lafayette witness tree. But in the meantime, Lafayette's headquarters. Too awesome. Too cool. All right, guys. So that's going to do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do good help supporting the show and keeping the show going. So I really do appreciate it, guys. But all right, again, Lafayette's headquarters. Really awesome. Get out here. Check this out. A piece of Revolutionary War history, a piece of Valley Forge Park history, something that just people don't really come out here to see very often. I'm sure walk down the walk down the road. It says you can't drive down it, but you can absolutely walk down the road. Come walking down the road, walk over the bridge, check out Lafayette's headquarters. It's really awesome. Find the find the old hidden sign here along the trail. It's really awesome. Again, a very important, awesome, really cool piece of Revolutionary War history that I highly recommend checking out if you make it out here to Valley Forge. So, all right, guys, again, that's it. Thanks for watching. So, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. And what should today's hashtag be? Um, I, ooh, L loud trucks. Hashtag loud trucks. If you watch this video all the way until the very end. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.